Hey guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X, and I've got some exciting news. Invisible Black has finally delivered on Signage Mod 11 for the LG G3 on Verizon. This is pretty exciting because now we can ditch LG's custom skin and we can add AOSP to our devices, giving us that stock look and feel. So, other than the stock look and feel, we do get some awesome extras in Signage Mod 11 like Theme Chooser and several different customization options along with, of course, performance enhancements and battery life enhancements. So in order to install this, uh, you'll want to head to the link in the description. It'll bring you to this thread, and you'll just scroll down to where it says download. You'll need both the G apps and the Cyanogen Mod 11. So we'll go ahead and download the recommended G apps. Okay, so while the G apps download, we will go ahead and grab the latest Cyanogen Mod. Big shout outs once again to Invisible Light for maintaining this device. So we'll go with the November 10th build. So it should be noted that this is still KitKat. Of course, Signage Mod hasn't updated their ROM to Lollipop. That would be Signage Mod 12, and it's not here yet. It may not be here for quite a while. They like to uh, make their versions very stable. So when KitKat becomes fully stable and they're happy with that, then they'll move on to Lollipop. So we'll give these two files a minute to download, and then we'll go ahead and flash Signage Mod 11 to the LG G3. Okay, so as soon as all that's downloaded, we'll need to flash into Team Wind Recovery Project. Now, you do need to be bumped already, so I'll include a link in the description of how to get Bootloader Unlocked with Bump Recovery. Signage Mod is fully compatible with Bump, uh, so what we need to do now is boot into Recovery. The easiest way that I found to do that is use an app like Flashify, which has an option to boot into Recovery. So we'll give that root permission. We'll go over here to the menu and reboot Recovery. So alternatively, you could power down the device, press and hold power and volume down, release volume down, I mean release power when you see the LG button, then it'll ask you to wipe data, and you would choose to wipe data, and that instead of wiping data would bring you into Team Win Recovery Project. For me, it's just easier to use an app like Flashify. So before we install, uh, before we wipe data rather, let's go ahead and make sure that we do have the files that we downloaded. I see PAG apps and I see Signage Mod 11 on November 10th. And we'll go ahead and wipe factory reset. Just give that a few seconds to do its thing. Okay, and then from there we will install. So really before you wipe your data and before you install the ROM, you should probably back up your device. It's a whole lot easier to get back to where you started if you do have a backup. Um, I already have a backup here, uh, but you wanna make sure that you do back up that stock rooted just in case you don't like Cyanogen Mod or whatever ROM you decide to flash, you'll easily be able to get back to stock rooted. So be sure to back up your device. So once you've backed up and you've wiped your data, we'll go to install and we'll choose Signage Mod 11. We'll add more zips, we'll choose PAG apps. So once we have those there, we'll go ahead and swipe to flash. So we'll give this a few minutes. It might take up to 10 minutes to install. And as soon as it's done, we'll boot into Signage Mod 11 on the LG G3. Okay, so that was actually super fast. It took about 30 seconds to install both packages. When it's finished, you'll see a successful, then you'll go ahead and reboot system. Now, if all went well, we should be greeted with a Signage Mod 11 boot animation. And there you have it. Signage Mod 11 on the Verizon LG G3. Big shout outs to Invisiblech. I'll be sure to do a full review of this ROM in the coming days, so be on the lookout for that. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.